Hi folks, we're all having a great day today. I uh, just thought I'd do a video of my trip as I'm leaving. I am uh, currently sitting in the uh, Hampton Airport, waiting to board, and of course there's been a flight delay. So, you anyway, know, this uh, airport's not really all that exciting, so I'll see if I can get, can get some footage there in Vancouver. Yep, ciao. Alright folks, here we are walking through the Vancouver Airport. Let's see what we can see. Sure, what your point, Mac? The food court. Pretty exciting. I have a sub at that subway every time I leave this airport. Pretty good subs there. And these natural art museum things. Sure it is, a little quick little aquarium. I think these things here are supposed to symbolize the uh, salmon runs that happen in the area. I don't know. All I see is a bunch of money people throw in. I should probably go magnet fishing in there. Not sure if that's showing up over there, but it's some pretty cool artwork. Some uh, native, uh, native Canadian art. Hi folks, so uh, I'm sitting here in the middle uh, waiting two hours for my plane to die. But, uh, anyway. To our skills, I'll probably walk around and show you guys some stuff if I can figure out uh, what I'm doing. But I'm using this clip that the bearded diver suggested I go get. So, anyway, uh, I'll put this around here and we'll go for a little walk. Yeah, I forgot to mention, <laughs> I found my first surface farm. Ten centimos. It's worth about 25% uh, of a Canadian penny. But, hey, it's money. So, that's outside the Manila Airport. Pretty cool. Yeah, let's go for a walk and see what we can find. Little store. I'll probably go back and get some water from them. Uh, cool there was water here last time I was here, I think. So, I need. They also used to have birds flying around, which is pretty cool. <coughs> They'd live up in the uh, little Venetian slides up there. Yeah, so this is all the boarding areas for the planes for the Philippines. Oh, another little food place. A little Cafe France. I've had coffee from that before. Not my favorite. That's the... Uh, Second security checkpoint. You go through one as you come into this area, and then you go through another one when you board. Lots of security. a pretty big chain out here for uh, the cakes and that. Yeah, this would be my gate over here someplace, but it's a couple hours ago yet. Yeah, if I see anything cool, I'll get back to you. 
go just on top of the chip place. Good. Two balls of those for like a buck ten. Because we're in the Philippines, we need something out for peanuts. I found these in Canada a few times. These things are awesome. You know, like barbecue corn chips. And then the lady told me that this uh, pork asado bun was pretty tasty. So we're going to give that a shot too. I need to get some change for the baggage guys in Davo as well. I'll show you that money later. So this here is the clip that the beer diver told me to go get. Okay. Swivels and whatnot. You can see it over there. That is one of those little birds I'm selling at the head in the airport here. It was closer than the camera. So now it's recording. <laughs> Recording you, baby. There we are. There's my beautiful wife, and uh, we're, we're in the watch room, it's called because I'm not allowed in the delivery area. So we sit, we sit in this little tiny room and we talk, and then I get updates and I come down every few hours. So a little bit different here for having babies than it is in, uh, in Canada and the US. So I don't know, we're right across from them, too. The Ob Gym ultrasound. Thing. So. There we go, walking back to the room. Just another visit with Jean. <laughs> Took the elevator this time. Well, that is a pretty cool painting though. Looks like outside our room here. Kind of neat. There's a uh, Gaisano Mall, it's like right in the area. But a lot of rain here overnight again. Okay, got it better. There we go, that was kind of neat. Alright, I should go the right way. I gotta go this way. So they got two wards on this one. The St. Rita Ward and the St. Luke Ward. And Gene is in St. Luke. Now, Gene's friend Rapunzel is in this room and she just had her baby a few hours ago. Little boy. This is our room. Number 450. Yeah, so I thought we'd get a little tour of the hospital in the morning. It's uh, probably different than what I'm used to back home anyway. So that's our door out to the hallway. And this is our oops, hear that. This is our uh, bathroom shower area. Um, I like the pad. There's just a tap for water, not hot or cold. And uh, that was a cold shower yesterday. But it is what it is. But uh, then we got a TV, a little table, put our cooler here, a little table with some food, air conditioning unit, and then this is the view outside. As you can see, it's open this window a little bit, take a look. There we go. So that's the uh, San Pedro College there. So. Um, there is a little restaurant over there called the Mandarin. That's where I had uh, breakfast yesterday. So uh, like a food chain out here. We had uh, <laughs> real estate lunch there in the mall. The mall is on the other side of those buildings there. Uh, Gaisano Mall. Which you call it. It's called some of that. Anyway, that's where we went the other day. There's a couple little stores down there. So and then over here, we got, uh, this is our guest bed. And then whenever Jean has her baby, this would be her bed. And then we have a little fridge in there, a little closet. So, pretty cozy little room. 
All right, so I just got back from a little trip to the mall there. Uh, my brother-in-law has been at our pad recently, so he's kind of through my own devices today a little bit while he does uh, goes to church and stuff like that. But yeah, he slept in, showed me where the mall was, now I can figure that out. But uh, yeah, I just went and picked up some lunch. Uh, I got some cheesy sticks, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is Jean's favorite pizza, so I picked something up, that up in case she wants it uh, later. But uh, we also did a little shop in here. These chippy corn snacks are pretty, pretty cool. Um, so this is uh, coffee. It's got some coffee out here. I don't have a coffee maker, but I do have hot water, so I can make coffee all the time. Picked up some dried mangoes and pineapple. These things I wish we had in Canada. I don't know what the heck they are, but they're like white chuckle filled snacks. <laughs> they're pretty tasty. They're pretty addicting. And then just uh, some chips, different kinds of uh, barbecue chips there, just to try a few flavors. So, and then uh, this is what I was snacking on with my morning coffee: some egg cracklet things. There, some type of biscuit. I don't know. They're 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 pretty good though. All right, uh, just a quick sample of uh, kind of snack food and whatnot we eat here. These uh, eggnog tasting cookies are one of Jean's favorite snacks. They're actually, not too bad. Yeah, this is what they look like. Just little tiny cookie biscuits. Pretty tasty. So I'm not sure how clear that comes out. These are the, uh, the policies here. I think uh, very, very different thinking here in the Philippines versus here in Canada. Like, for example, uh, one of the prohibitions is the feeding bottles. The, uh, this hospital allowed to keep breastfeeding. There's signs for it all over the place. I'm considered a watcher here, so I'm not actually in the room where my fiance is giving birth right now. So they just give me updates every few hours. So <laughs> one hour ago they told me that uh, we got three to five hours to wait because she is now uh, fully into labor. So we'll see what happens. But well, they even have uh, like a breastfeeding policy here. And I'll scroll down slowly so you can read that. And then that's the hospital I'm at, uh, San Pedro Hospital. We are there, apparently. It's the room St. Luke, 450. <laughs> right, I'll get back to you when we know So these are the rules in this hospital here. Pause the video if you need to see anything. Some baby mess. And at nine seventeen, January ninth, Chris Jr. said hello to the world. You weighed a hefty 3.42 kilograms, which I think is about seven and a half pounds. And he had a height of 53 centimeters. So, he's pretty excited and ready for the day. Say hello to all the YouTube people. Soon, you'll be metal detecting and scrapping with Papa. having a sleep after a good breakfast. Maybe waking up now. Pretty tiny. Well, good morning. So here we are getting his morning sunshine. We're supposed to do this between 5 and 6, or 5.30 and 6.30 here local time in the morning. We have to go to uh, the hospital for 7 a.m. Every, every day for the next few more days to uh, get some needles for an infection that he got. So and then uh, so we'll go twice a day for those and then once a day for another 
another meal for her infection. But yeah, so we're just sitting here having. He's having his morning breakfast. Mama's making me some coffee, and uh, no one got any sleep at all. So <laughs> welcome to the joys of parenthood. It's a good time. So it has been quite a week since I got here. Uh, when I left Vancouver, I got on the plane knowing that uh, Gene was being admitted into the hospital. So that was a pretty stressful flight. And then uh, we then proceeded to spend the next uh, five days, I think it was, yeah, five days in the hospital. Uh, with this little fella here. Uh, but, uh, during that time, you know, Gene got an infection, which wasn't good, and now the baby's got an infection as well. So. To, uh, like I was saying earlier, I've got to keep going back to the hospital for uh, antibiotics every every 12 hours, I think it is. So, but he's in good spirits. They seem to be doing fine, so it's all good. But uh, yeah, now I have to say, I think this video is probably all over the place. I mean, it was pretty tired and pretty stressful. Uh, pretty frustrated with a lot of the things that was going on here. I, I only threatened to punch three people in the nose, so <laughs> for me that's pretty good. I think it was pretty pretty stressful with some of the stuff, uh, big language barriers. Um, I was trying to explain one thing that I'm used to in Canada, and they don't quite do that the same way here. So uh, it's just the different policies and whatnot. So um, what's what I thought kind of neat was the um, the hospital we were at. It's actually. I think it's a government mandate that they were saying that you cannot use formula that you have to breastfeed. Uh, well, however, you know that doesn't always work, and one of the, one of the things we've been having an issues with is breastfeeding. So he's been on pretty much baby formula <laughs> since we got <laughs> since he came around. <laughs> so Alex, it's just one of the many things that's different. But hopefully, for the next few weeks, we'll have uh, a much better, uh, much better time with things. Anyway, I'm probably going to wrap this one up here. Like I said, this video has just been a mismatch of everything, so it's probably all over the place, pretty random. Uh, hopefully the next one will be quite a bit different, uh, a little bit more organized. I want to get some video of uh, taking a cab to the different places because the, the streets here are pretty cool. Uh, the driving, it's its something on its own. Uh, you just don't experience in North America. So anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of my uh, Philippines video and uh, my my new boy here, Christopher. So, alright, talk to you soon. Please like, comment, subscribe. Ciao.